Namaste. Welcome to day 24 of our 30 day power yoga challenge. We are getting so close to the end and I can't believe it's almost time. But let's get started standing at the front of the mat. <clears throat> Shoulders down and back, feet hip distance apart, eyes closed. Palms to the front of the room. Lift through the crown of the head, ground down through the feet. Lengthen the inhales, exhale through the ground, through the feet. Inhale through the crown of the head, imagining light or energy coming in through the crown of your head. And exhale, imagine that lighter energy moving out through your feet. A few more breaths here. Exhale, press the airway. Inhale, reach. Exhale, press the airway. Clasp the hands behind you. Open through the heart space and the shoulders. Lift the fists away from your body. Lengthen your tailbone towards the mat. Engage your core. Inhale here and exhale chair with the clasp. Heart lifts. Press the clasp away from you. Stretch the shoulders. Look over your right shoulder. Look over your left. Inhale, release the arms and exhale forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back, shoulders down and back. And exhale, plant the palms and step it back to plank. So the last couple classes have been a little bit longer. I'm going to try to make this one quick and powerful. So spread the fingers wide, shoulders away from the ears, heart between the biceps, press the heels away from you. And then launch forward, chaturanga. Press back up to plank. Again, chaturanga. Press back up to plank. Chaturanga. Press back up to plank. And this time, chaturanga to up dog. Second chaturanga to down dog. This class is going to be a little power punch for the upper body. If you haven't caught on. <laughs> We're trying to strengthen the upper body for some of the more complicated moves that will come on later in the challenge. So inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, come forward into plank. Bring the right knee to the right elbow. Bend at the elbows, reptile push-up. Press back up to plank and three-legged dog. Again, rock forward into three-legged plank. Right knee to right elbow, bend at the elbows, reptile push-up. Press back up, three-legged dog. Last one, reptile push-up. Three-legged dog. And then bring the knees into the chest. Step it through and inhale, high lunge. Come back to the breath. Inhale and exhale, plant the palms. Step it back to plank. Three chaturanga push-ups. So bring the elbows into the body, launch forward chaturanga to plank. 
chaturanga, plank, chaturanga, plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, second chaturanga to downward facing dog. Walk it out. Inhale the left leg up. Come forward into three-legged plank. Left knee to left elbow. Bend the elbows. Reptile push up. Press back. Three-legged dog. Come forward into plank. Core engaged. Left knee to left elbow. Bend the elbows. Press back up. Three-legged dog. And then come forward. Knee to elbow. Reptile push up. Three-legged dog. And this time bring the knee in between the elbows. And then step it through. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, plant the palms. Step it back to plank. Three chaturanga push-ups. You can always go back to doing it on your knees if this is too much or you're getting tired. One, two, three. Chaturanga to upward facing dog. To second chaturanga to downward facing dog. Spread the fingers wide, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale the right leg up, exhale knee in towards the body, so like a half plank. Thread the knee over to the left, take the right foot over to the outside on the left of the body. So you're gonna kind of a weird half plank twist thing. And then keeping the foot on the outside, outside of the right foot, bend the elbows, Press back up. Bring the knee back into the body and three-legged dog. Two more. Bring the knee into the chest, thread it through, take it over to the right side, uh, left side of the body. Bend the elbows. Press back up. Three-legged dog. Last one. Knee in, across. Push up. Three-legged dog. And then knees in between elbows, step it through. High lunge. Inhale here, exhale, plant the palms, step it back, plank, three, chaturanga push-ups. So core engaged, one, two, three, chaturanga, two, up dog, second chaturanga, to down dog. Mm. We're gonna have sore arms tomorrow. <laughs> So inhale the left leg up, knee into chest, thread it through, take the outside of the left foot onto the mat, bend the elbows, push up, three-legged dog. Exhale, thread it through, push up, three-legged dog. Last one, push up, three-legged dog. And then knee to nose, Inhale here and exhale, step it through, high lunge. Inhale here, exhale, plant the palms, step it back, plank, and three, chaturanga push-ups. One, two, three, chaturanga to upward facing dog, second chaturanga to downward facing dog. Come back to your breath. Take the heels and the hips over to the right, toes face to the left, stretch through the left side body. Switch sides, heels to the right, hips to the right, right side body. Back to center, downward dog. 
Inhale the right leg up. Exhale. Take the right foot to the outside of the right hand up on your toes. And push up. Come back up. Press back into three legged dog. Two more. Take your toes on the outside of your right hand. Bend the knee. The knee should be facing the sky. Push up. Three legged dog. Last one. Push up. Three legged dog. And this time, take your right foot again to the outside of the right hand on your toes. Take your left hand to the center of the mat and inhale your right arm up. A little bit of a different twist. Plant the palms. Come back into three-legged dog. Take the right foot behind and to the left of the left foot and walk your hands back in. Forward fold. Walk your hands back to the front of the mat. Plank. Three. Chaturanga push ups. One. Core tight. Two. Three. Chaturanga to upward facing dog. To second chaturanga. To downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale, take the left foot to the outside of the hands. Push up. Back to three legged dog. One. Toes to the outside of the hands. Two. And three. Three legged dog. Step it to the outside just like we did. Take your right hand to the center of the mat and inhale, left arm up. Plant the palms, come back into three-legged dog, left foot behind the right, and walk your hands in towards your feet, forward fold. Walk your hands forward, plank, and three, chaturanga push-ups. One, two, three, chaturanga to upward facing dog, chaturanga to downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up, exhale, step it through. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, the hands behind you clasp, open through the heart space, lift the heart, look up, and exhale, fold. Humble warrior. Let your wrist be heavy, let gravity take over and open up your shoulders. Inhale, come back up, high lunge with the clasp. Reach and exhale, plant the palms. Just a normal vinyasa this time, chaturanga to upward dog to chaturanga, to downward dog. Inhale the left leg up, exhale, step it through. Inhale, high lunge. And exhale, clasp the hands behind you, reversing the clasp. Open through the heart, look up, and exhale, fold. Humble warrior. Come back up, reach, and exhale, plant the palms. Step it back to plank, and then bring your knees to the mat, and take the top of the right hand onto the mat, fingers facing you. You can sit back a little bit, as long as you start to feel that stretch in your hands, in your forearm. Switch directions, so palm of the hand on the mat, Fingers facing you. Stretch in the wrist. So you can keep a micro bend in your elbow to be safe. 
and then switch hands. Back of the left hand on the mat, fingers facing you. And then switch, palm of the hand on the mat, stretch for the wrist, sit back. Come out of it, you can shake your hands, shake your wrists. So take your knees hip width apart, hips over knees, hands on your lower back, walk your hands in towards your body, wrists facing up or out, press down through the tops of the feet, lift through the hips, lift through the heart, camel pose. Shoulders open. And come out of it, child's pose. Forehead to mat, shoulders heavy. Come back up, camel pose one more time. Hands on the hips, or you can grab your blocks and put them on your calves. Core tight, hips forward, lift through the heart. And release. Forehead to mat, child's pose. Inhale your hands forward, walk them back in towards your body. Come to sit between your heels. <clears throat> walk your hands back. And if you're staying right here, that's fine. Press your knees down, tailbone lengthens away from you. If you can, come down onto your forearms, lift the heart space, press the knees down, so nice stretch from the front of the shoulders. And you can also come all the way down onto your back, but you lose the shoulder stretch. And it goes into your quads, which is also fine. Walk your hands back in, come back to seat, swing your feet around, come to sit on your bum, soles of the feet to the mat, hands behind you, fingers facing towards you, lift your hips tabletop. We'll do 10 kick-ups, one, two, kick towards the ceiling, hips high, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, release, your bum to the mat, roll all the way down, onto your back, knees in your chest, happy baby. Soles of the feet together, knees apart. left foot onto the mat, right ankle on the left knee, thread your hands behind your leg, pigeon on the back, just really quickly. Switching sides, left ankle to right knee, open through the hip, come back to the breath. And release the left leg long, right knee in supine twist. And then left knee in, right leg long, supine twist. back to center, let your legs go long, eyes closed, shimmy your shoulders up underneath your heart space. This time take your legs wider than the mat, arms out to your side, starfish style. And 
take a few moments to rest here in Shavasana. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.